Hey guys, what's up? Leno here from LenoFX.com. Uh, today we are going to talk about how you can create transitions in Motion 5 so you can use in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is an important topic. If you use Final Cut and sometimes you want some... Oh! <laughs> so... We are going to talk about transitions today for Final Cut Pro 10 and I'll show you some basics way, basic way uh, basic way of creating transitions and then we can create some something more a little bit complex okay so let me know where are you from what's your name and where are you from and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel already okay Hit the like button guys and let me know your name and where are you from. I'm Leno from Brazil. Here is a great day, fresh day, beautiful night. Let me know your time, what's the time where you are. Joel, hey my friend, thanks for being here. You are always on our lives and this is awesome. Thanks for the like yeah hit the like button guys don't forget forget all right it has been amazing yeah joel i'm learning where are uh, where he's from he's from he's from canada joel hope boy king dance new york new york nice welcome my friend <clears throat> yeah three likes great we are going to start in a minute all right so i'm very happy doing these lives this is awesome yeah the same time zone where i am here no no here is 9 32 p.m yeah 9 31 uh-huh great guys good to see you here again that means that I'm doing a, a great job. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, right, Joel? <laughs> Thank you, brother, for your your trust and for your time. And I hope you learned something new today so you can use in your workflow, make it better, make it easier, faster, and make more money by uh, at the end of the day, okay? So if you don't know what LenoFX is, go to LenoFX.com and look for promotions. Here you can see the current promotion that we are having. You have 20, you can enjoy $20 off of selected plugins, beautiful. And you can go to the free ones to know more about our work without paying anything. Don't forget to leave a review. Look, Cyberpunk Free trans Transitions, 45 five star reviews. Look, Instagram Stories, 56. And that's awesome. Thank you guys for the help. This, it's, uh, this is awesome, okay? <clears throat> Your reviews makes a lot of difference and help us grow Leno FX. Hussam from Saudita, Ara Arabia Saudita. Yeah, good morning, Mac Mac. Good to see you here, my friend, from Taiwan, Republic of China. Yes, I'm learning a lot. Great, my friend, great, that's awesome. Just bought a few plugins today. Thank you, brother, that's awesome. And I hope that you make a lot of money and come back to buy more and make more money. That's the cir circle, cir cycle of success. <clears throat> I'm all about ROI, return on investment. If the if I have the return, I'm going to always invest. If I buy a plugin for a million dollars and I get two, I'll buy a plugin every day for a million dollars. <laughs> so Daniel from Brazil, Daniel, Bra Brasilia, Brasilia from Brazil. Welcome, my friend. Adailton from Rio Grande do Sul, Rio Grande do Sul in Portuguese. <clears throat> yeah, so let's get it started, guys. I hope you're ready and here my wa here's my water. I'm not drinking coffee because it's night here, so I want to sleep after the live. <laughs> okay, so let me 
open here. Let me open motion five first. <clears throat> okay, just a moment. Danielle, I will have to see the other lives to get more knowledge. Yeah, I shared a lot of knowledge, a lot of cool stuff that can be very uh, important in your workflow. So it's a, uh, I highly recommend, okay? Yeah, transition is something that I, it's, I, I am good at. So let's create something. Jackie Negan from the UK. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> Sorry guys. Let's go, let me share my screen. And again, don't forget to subscribe. So here I'm in Motion 5 and with the project browser open, you can select Final Cut Transition. And then here you can select the frame size. I'm going to select the H D 1080 24 frames per second okay and then 24 frames and the, the duration let's say that I want I two seconds duration so I'll put just two zero zero and then hit open great and then I'm going to press this to close f6 no let me show the transitions command 8 and let me explain how transitions work. Transition A, transition B. Transition A is the previous clip. Transition B is the next clip in the timeline of Final Cut Pro 10. So let's come to Final Cut, go to Final Cut. This is cl clip A, this is clip B, if I put the transition between these two clips. So, Coming back here, some important things about transitions is that the first frame and the last frame needs to be like you are seeing here without animation, without, without effects, without anything. This is very important. The first frame can't not have animation or effects. It, it needs to be the original frame. Okay, with that being said, <clears throat> otherwise you'll have a transition that doesn't look very good. It's strange, the effect. Let's create a simple transition, a fade. Nothing more basic than a fade. So let me drag the A to here and the B here, like that. Great. Let me select the A, put the cursor, the playhead, in the start of the, the project, F1, add a keyframe, go to the end, and go back one frame hitting the left arrow, because look, I said that the last frame can't have animation. So let's come back one frame, add one keyframe, go to the first one and move one frame um, in the timeline. Okay. Now let's go to the last one and then select, put that zero, set that zero. Command eight, command seven, and then I can hold down the command key, click and drag, hold down the shift key and create an S curve like that. Great. Command S to save category, click new category and let's say Leno FX live training. Great. And then you can give a name here, Tem template name, let's say fade, simple fade. Publish and then let's go to Final Cut to see our amazing transition. To find the transition that you created, you've created, go to the transitions browser here or press command shift five, command shift five. And then you can close the same window. Next, look for the category that you created. Let me see Leno FX live and you'll see an effect 
a fade. Click and drag and apply. But look, 14 frames, this, the duration of this transition. It's not the same duration as the transition that I created in motion. Let's come back here. The duration is two seconds, two seconds. So let's go back, preview. Good, great, that's great. But I want the transitions to be, to, to be two seconds. Let's double click here if I, we have extra media. Yes, we have because the transition is applied to the extra media. So let's make it two seconds. So that's the size, double click again. That's the original fade that we created. To have your transition to be the same duration as the original one, just go to the project. And then here in the Pro properties tab, you can find override override FCP duration. What that means is if you go to Final Cut, press Command, comma, or go to Final Cut Pro Preferences, Command, comma. Let me press Command, comma. In the editing tab, you can see that my default duration for transition is zero um, uh, one three quarter, I think that's how can I say as well, uh, zero comma 75. Okay, that's the default duration. So let's delete with, the, with that selected overwrite final cut duration, command S, go back and apply. Now 18 frame, it's not correct. Let me put more extra media. It's not correct. I think it didn't update yet. If the transition is 4K, this one can be 4K. It will adapt automatically. Command S, go back. Look, 14 frames. Let's come and do this. Yeah, I don't know because we have extra media, a lot of extra media. All right, it shouldn't, it should have the duration of two seconds. Now it's updated, it, it, it updates, it's updated. Look, okay, so it takes some time to update, sometimes, but most of the time is very fast. Okay, so let's see, oh, two seconds, okay? Good. Let me see what else can I teach you. Let me see. This is very common overwrite, override, final cut duration. I always mark this. And another thing that is very important is the frame that represents the effect. Look, you can select the specific frame that you want to see as a thumbnail here. Let's come to motion, let's go to motion, and then you need to put a marker. You can right click, add marker, but I like to use M or shift M because if I use, if I have a, a layer selected and I press M, I add a marker to the layer. I don't want that. So I need, if I have any layer selected, I can press shift M to add a marker to the timeline, not to the layer selected. So after you create the, the marker, double click, type, select poster frame, hit OK. So this frame will represent this transition in Final Cut. Command S to save. And then if you go back, the frame, I, I, it, it doesn't look that it's the right one, but it is. Maybe it didn't update yet, okay? So that's how you can create basic transitions in Motion 5 to Final Cut Pro 10. Very basic. Now we are going to do something more complex. 
But before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can be notified to receive uh, notifications when we go live, when you will release new tutorials. Let me know if you have any questions so I can answer and then you can, we can continue creating another transition. I was just watching the last live, which I missed. Great, great. Then this came up. <laughs> nice, nice. This is good. So the great thing about seeing live is that you can participate, ask questions and give tips on what you want to learn or anything else. And if you are seeing the replay, just put in the comments, where are you from? What's your name? What you learned? What you like it? What you like in the live? What you want to learn or any question? Daniel, when you intend to update your Motion and Final Cut Pro 10 course, this is the Portuguese course I intend to update this year. I'm thinking about creating a course in English for Motion and Final Cut Pro 10 and then translate as well to Portuguese. Okay, that's what I want to do. Uh, that's in our plans for Leno FX. Okay, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I, I intend to because the course is great and it, it's outdated and that's not good. Okay, so guys, do you have any question about transitions basic? Because now we are going, going to go deep. James, hello, this is James from New Jersey, USA near New York. Ah, I enjoy your lesson. Thank you, my friend. And thanks for being here again. I remember you were last live, I think. What happened when you don't have enough media even to put any kind of transition? Final Cut will ask if you want to make the media smaller so it can, has, it can have extra media. And then you can say yes or no. Uh, let me let me show you. It's better to show than to tell. This is a rule of film. So let me double click here. Look, and then I can do this. And then I don't have extra media. And then I can press escape key. Click and drag. Look, Final Cut didn't ask. It just adapt, adapt the duration of the transition to the duration of the of the extra media available. So let me remove all the extra media. You know that a clip doesn't have extra media when you see this red sign, this red. Look, now Final Cut will ask this. That is not enough extra media beyond clip edges to create transition. Do we want to repo trim create? Look, it made the duration of the clip sm um, shorter. That's the answer. Let me know, Daniel, if I answered your question, okay? It's 1.46 a.m. in the morning. Jack, thanks for, for being awake, my friend, to see the live. Cool, man. I really want that course. Great, my friend, great. What happened when you, when you don't have enough media? He asked but I already answered. So let's continue. Let me drink some water. You're welcome. Oh, my phone is ringing. So Ned, I don't know, I don't have any idea what transition I'm going to create. Let's experiment and create something from scratch. Okay, let's go. Let's go to motion, command S, command W, command N, well, command W, command N, and then transitions. Now I want a transition, uh, let me see about um, 15 frames. 
because I want something kind of glitch. So let's make this something like this. And then I want to use an effect. I'll add to both. Then I'll go to effects. Let me see. Stylize bad TV. Let's see. A good thing to do is to add some photo to the transitions or video. Maybe you can add videos. But I'll, I'll use photo. It's photo is is not so it's better to preview let me see so we can keyframe the parameters so let's start with the mix Put the playhead on the first frame, go one frame forward, then put the mix at zero, then go to the middle, a hundred, go to the end, come back one frame and put zero again. Look. And then what I want to do is, let me see. What I want to do is go to the transition A, come here at a keyframe to the opacity, go one frame ahead, forward, one, another frame, and then I can add another one. I'm using right arrow, and then I can go forward. Let's see. Now let's press Command 8, Command 7, F key. Now let me put here at zero, double click on the keyframe, put zero, double click on this one, put zero. Let's select everything, right click, select interpolation constant to do something like this. Look. Good. And then here it Cut. I can cut. I don't need to use the keyframe. Press O. You can cut here. Let me press Command 7 or you can cut like that. Command 7. Let's see. And then I can make the, the last one less intensive. Just click and drag. Good. And this one, let me add another one. Just double click. Let's see. F. Let's select. Right click. Interpolation constant. Good. Let's make less intensive. No, the... the Opacity at the beginning needs to be a hundred percent. So I need to create a new double click here, make like this. Great. Command S to save and now let's call glitch test. Select Leno FX Live Training Publish. Great. Now let's see here. Go to effects F3, select the, the effect, and then I can come here, hold down the command key. Oh no, select everything, right click, interpolation, Bezier, 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 I think. Look, it's not connected. Hold down the option key, click to connect, and then let's do something like this F. Good. Let me see here. What I want to do is saturation. Maybe it will change. So let me come to here. Saturation 
is zero, zero. Let me reset, zero. And then put a keyframe, go forward. Maybe I want to saturate a little bit. And then it's, it's less saturated, more saturated, and less. Let's put zero. Good. Now, let's see what else can we do. This parameter I can change. Add a keyframe, go here, add a, another keyframe, come here and change it. Good. Now let's see, roll. I want to do this. Look, I'm, I'll put a keyframe here and put zero, go forward and roll several times. Good. And waveness, let me see waveness. I could click here, add parameter behavior, randomize. Hit F and then I need to put add and subtract. I can increase the amount. All right. Yeah, I like it. Command S to save it. And let's see in Final Cut what we've created so far. Select the glitch test. Put here. Look, the duration is 18 frames. Let's come back and see it's 14 frames. Let's click on project, override Final Cut Pro 10 duration, and let's put in this frame, shift M, command option, command option M, poster frame. So this frame will represent this transition in Final Cut Pro 10. All right. Add here, let's see, 18 frames, it didn't update it. Great, let's control D, 14, enter, command S to, to render. Let's wait to render. Good, let's preview. Nice. I could just package it, packages, package this transition and sell it <laughs> because I like it. Very nice. Did you like it guys? If you like this transition, this effect, subscribe to the channel and hit, don't forget to hit the like button already. Okay. Let me see what you guys are talking about. Belly Media Production. Hey, hi, sir. How are you? I'm great, my friend. How are you? Thanks for asking. John, hello from Switzerland. 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 I think. Switzerland. Hello from India. Sindhu. Sindhu. I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know how to pronounce as well. Hello from India. Two people from India. Great. That's awesome. From Switzerland, New York, Canada. It's so amazing to see you guys here today with me. Very nice. Thanks for hitting the like button. And that's a more complex transition in involving behaviors, parameter behaviors, keyframes, uh, involving the opacity. You can change the opacity. You can change the interpolation to constant so the line can drop rapidly fast not progressively or you know joel nice good that you like it yeah the marker poster frame only particular to the transitions no my friend you can use poster frame for i think all all the the templates, plugins, uh, elements that you create in motion, you can add a poster frame. It's the same process. It doesn't change. Just, just press 
shift M to create a marker, command option M to edit the marker and then select post a frame. And then if you don't like the frame that you choose, just move the marker to the one that you like the most. I, I tend to try to, I try to always put the poster frame on the frame that better represents the effect that I'm, I'm creating. Okay. So that when the final cut, when the editor see the transition, the poster frame, the thumbnail, he have an idea what the effect looks like. All right. Let's create another one. Do you guys have the time, the energy for one more? If so, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you are not a subscriber yet. And you can share this video later. You can comment, ask questions and everything else. Awesome, great tip. Thank you, good to know. Yeah, let me know if you want one more transition so we can finish. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. I need your participation. Can you make zoom in transition? <clears throat> Got all the energy. Let's go. Zoom in transition. Let me see. Yeah, we can try. We can try, but it takes some time because the, the, the control of the curve is very important to create a VOOP. Let me see how much time I'll take to create this. A zoom in is easier than... Let me see. Yeah, let's, let's create. Let's create. Twain's rule. Yeah. Well, hello. Hello, fellas. <laughs> hello, fellas. Good. Hit the like button, twins. Don't forget, my friend. So, I'm, oh, look. I'll try to go fast because if I go slow, we are going to be here for an hour because the fast, trans the zoom in transitions is not so easy to create, but let's try to create this live. All right. And I, I'm not, I didn't re rehearse anything. So this is all just working like I work at Leno FX in a regular day. Okay. I'm just t t going through the process with you. I think this is, this is more valuable than if I just give you a recipe. It's great, a recipe, but you don't think that much. I'm not, if the person just give a recipe, they don't share the thinking process. And sometimes the thinking process is more important than the recipe because it's like teach a man how to fish or give a fish for a day. Great drop zones transitions. Yeah, we can do that, but let me add this as an idea for great transitions with drop zones for another day. Okay, great idea. Great idea, John. Thanks for that. Let's see here the zoom transitions. Let me go to motion. Go to motion. This one is great. Command N. I think, let me see one second. I think it's too much. Mm, let's put one second one dot dot add two zero two zeros and then let me do this and do this no it's in the middle it's like this command eight and then what i need to do let me see let me see There are several ways of doing the same thing, but let me see how could I do that. Let me 
disable the A, command G, enter, enter, look, enter, command A, and I'll press trans B, just B, and put it here. And then what I want to do is, is go to filters. Let me see, let me see filters. Tiling, Kaleidotile, Kaleidotile, this one. Now, go, you can come here and select show full view area. Shift V is my keyboard shortcut. Shift V and look the size of the copies. What we need to do is make the size the same as the size of the composition. The size of the composition you can see here, select the project and then 1080, 1920 by 1080. Just come here, 1920 by 1080. Great. Select the angle and put zero. Now, now, um, let me see. I didn't rem. I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> ay, ay. Let me put on the clip. Shift V, Shift V, full area, show full area, because I, I what I want is create several duplicates of this video, of, of the transition B, okay, 1920 by 1080. Let me open the original transition, let me see if I have it here, because if I see it, I can remember the effect. Fast transitions, zoom in. Let me see. Where is it? Look, here. Boom. Open in motion so I can try to understand. Yeah, I did in a manual way. This is not very good. I learned something more easier to do but i didn't use the same technique in this transition because i cloned the layers and rotate them move them around so i can have the edges but look how i did it the transition a and then i changed the z position look whoop and then it just we have just a cut straight cut boom all right and then it stops with the b transition in the middle let me see command w oh it's a lot easier to do with this effect let me see if it's kaleido tile or it's another one go to filters tiling kaleido tile Kaleidoscope, no, 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 no. I think it's this one. Look, guys, I'm going to find out in a minute. It's duplicating. Let me see. F3. Ah, I remember now. I remember. Eehoo. 10. 1920 by 1080 all right rotation zero then go to the group f4 and then you can put here fixed resolution but the resolution is very big <laughs> found it i remember it great just do something like this look to see the content outside, go to view, show full view area. Shift V is my keyboard shortcut. Let me see, I think this is good. And then make it taller or not. Great, this is great. 
But you can see here, look, oh, look, we have some edges. One frame. Come here and select and press down arrow two times. And down arrow here two times as well. Great, we are, we are good to go, good to continue. Because what I'm going to do is this. Select the A transition. Let me create a group, A, put inside. And then I can, let's try to use another method instead of using the Z position. Let's try to use the scale like this. So I'm going to put 200, 200, and then I'm going to go to this group and put 50. 50? Yeah, I think so. Uh-huh. Because what I want to do is to, let me see, 50, 100, 100 percent. Let me see if it's going to work. Let's try, let's try. We don't have nothing, nothing to lose. 50% and then I can come here and make it go back one frame. But before I animate the scale, I want to link the X, the Y with the X. Click y click here link put the same group link compatible parameters properties transform e scale x now i just need to animate the x scale not the y i find this very easier much easier select put a keyframe one frame before the last one Go one frame forward, put a keyframe, and then here we have a number of 100. So this is what we are going to do. Command S to save, and let's call it zoom in. Category, let's select LenaFX Live Training, publish, just to make sure that we don't lose our work. Good, let's see if the look, the last one is great, it's working just how I imagine. Because I put the group to 50%, then I added 200%. Okay? I divided, then I du du doubled the size. All right, now let's adjust the curve. Command 8, Command 7, F, make more room. Shift V, command, forward, slash, hold on the, the command key, and let's create a very steep or very, I, I think it's steep curve. Look, yeah, but I, I need to cut at this most, mo, uh, let's try to make more, mo, add more movement because the cut needs to happen where the movement is faster. Like here, maybe here, command seven, and then I can come and cut the B, the A and cut the B. Kaleidotile needs to go Good, good. Yeah, but it's not very fast. But let's make this more. Let's add a keyframe. Hold down the option key. Click here. Command 7. Com F. Right click. Align ta tangents. Click and drag. Let's make a curve. F. Something like that. Put here in the middle, F. Mm, 
Good. Let's say that I'm happy. Command 8. Now let's go to filters, blur, zoom blur. Let's add this to make it more interesting. Look what it does. So let's go one frame forward, add a keyframe, command seven, come here, add more zoom, and then come here and put as zero, command eight, command seven, click and drag with command key, hold on the shift key, shift key. Yeah, it doesn't look like a zoom let's disable the zoom effect command s go to final cut and let's test the transition we built so far zoom put here 18 frames let me see the original 24 24 command s to preview let's see good Look, the copies that we've created. Okay, we have here, here. You can come to the render and enable motion blur. It will be more interesting, the effect, but the render time will take more to render. Command S, let's go to Final Cut again, add again. The duration is 18 frames, I want 24, Control D. Command S. Look, it didn't render. It's taking the last render. So I need to put in another clip. Command S. Let's see. To render. Good. I like it. Did you like it? Let me know. Look, the blur effect. It blurs out. I think it's, it's very nice. So guys, if you are liking this, hit the like button, please, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, and if you want uh, to download free Final Cut Pro 10 templates, transitions, plugins, go to lenofx.com, click on free, and if you find something valuable to you, just buy one of the premiums so you can support LenoFX team. Daniel says, mask transitions good this is a great idea mask transitions i was teaching you guys the basics of motion i'll continue teaching you and then we are going to combine everything together and why you are going to be very good at motion so you are going to be editing on a hurry and without uh, maybe the client is uh, want the thing right away and you can be able to come to motion and create something oh, look very fast okay that's my goal to you with you Tiago top yeah Tiago yeah Tiago I, <laughs> he's my friend thanks for being here yeah the blur looks cool right very cool I love this effect uh, sometimes it's very it's worth the time that it takes to render because the effect just look awesome okay so don't forget guys hit the like button really great we have 12 people live this is awesome 13 likes that's what i like and i'm very happy today because you are participating you are talking to me and this makes me very happy uh, more energized to keep doing this because if i'm alone it's not very fun <laughs> but i know you you are with me joel really cool good good that's awesome my friend so let's finish this transition no i think it's great just awesome i would not change this transition i would just put in a pack and sell it to you or give it for free <laughs> okay yeah my friend 15 likes that's awesome that's awesome. Let me see Jackie com Jack's comment. 
Gotta say, what you are doing for the motion community is just great. You are the need blessing, a needed blessing, and you are very much appreciated. Yeah, my friend, thank you so much for the kind words, and I'm loving this. I'm feeling more comfortable speaking in English. I think I'm getting better, and this is more, I feel more relaxed, so I think when we have the 100 live training about motion final cut about land effects i'll be more even more um better and you guys are going to learn so much and you are going to have so many skills in motion in final cut and i and my hope my goal is to take you to the next level for to do a better work make more money, have a better life in general, all right? It's not just about Final Cut and motion. So, um, look, the effect, I love it. Look, let's see. I just love this transition. Let's use it here in this one. Command S, let me see. Let's see in full screen. Let's see, Command F. just awesome i love it i love it we are all here with you and your vision great my friend great uh this is awesome so guys that's it for today i think we we did a great job together because you guys gave me the idea of doing the zoom transition the mass transition transitions with drop zones and that's great great ideas and i'm i'm taking some notes and i'll talk about that in the future so it's very important that you share with me your ideas your what you are thinking because if we talk we have a conversation it's very very easy for me to create lives but if i'm alone and thinking what am, am i going to talk about today i have no idea but with your ideas it was it was very easy i just came here and see look i'm going to talk about behaviors tomorrow i'm going to talk about transitions today and let's go pablo pablo hoca thanks leno i am more a book person but couldn't find any update yet your content and hard work let me see is much appreciated great pablo thank you brother Thank you. So that's it, guys. I hope you have an amazing day and amazing night. And I hope to see you here in the next live talking about motion, final cut, Leno FX plugins, and help us grow the channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, giving ideas. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll um, set this up in the future. I want to be here talking with you guys open your project and make it better with you live if you are uh, if you like the idea let me know all right thank you guys thank you guys have a great night great day and see you next time at lenafx live trainings thank you bye bye